If I had to start over in Obsidian today, here's what I would do. Don't import your notes, don't make folders, try this approach instead. Hey, I'm Nick Milo, and this is Linking Your Thinking, where we explore ways to stop consuming and start connecting the thoughts that matter most to us. No matter where you are in life, there is an easy way to regain agency over our thoughts and what we're experiencing on a daily basis. The key is really to go from consuming content to connecting ideas. And now basic note apps like Obsidian make it easy and fun for us to do exactly that. And that's really the purpose of this video. So let's start by opening an empty Obsidian. Now technically they call this a vault, but once you start linking notes, it becomes an ideaverse. An ideaverse is simply a well-connected internet of notes. Think of it this way, you already have an internet for the outer world, it's everywhere. An ideaverse is an internet for the inner world. So if I had to start over with Obsidian today, here is what I would do to move from a collector to a connector. It's a wonderful place to be, let's dive in. What you're looking at right now is a piece of my main ideaverse. While it has over 10,000 notes, it's not about the notes, it's about the quality of the links. That's what we're going to do together. So if we go down and say manage vaults, we can open up this pop-up window. Together, we're going to start over and forget all the stuff that, that used to be there. So let's go ahead and create a new vault and let's give this one a name, new idea verse and just place it somewhere that makes sense to you. I'm going to place it in a folder I have called vaults. All right, let's go ahead and hit the create button and now it's open. Cool, it's a little small, so let's go ahead and expand this to fit more of the screen and then we'll also make it much bigger so it's easier to read. Now they default to dark mode. I won't wanna change any of the settings because we're not focused on settings. We're not focused on really anything other than connecting ideas to one another. So starting over, the first thing I want to do is to create a new note. But what type of note should I create? Let's call it a thing note. So that's just some thing out there in the world that you heard about and you find it one of two things. You either find it interesting or you find it important. And if it can be both of those things, all the better. So let me ask you, what's something recently that's been interesting or important to you? Now for me, I'm going to go ahead and hit create a new note. And um, there's this concept that I've just been obsessed with the past four and a half years. So I'm going to give it a name and it's, it's called the nearness principle. So this is a thing, it's an idea that the closer things are to each other, the more apparent their relationships become. Just by making this note, it's bringing me calm, it's bringing me joy, and I'm wondering what can this connect to? So using one of the best note making prompts around, I'm going to start to type, it reminds me of. And why I like this prompt so much is because it forces us to then answer. So it reminds me of the, the dotted art paintings from Seurat. And as I do that, we can now see that the nearness principle in the graph connects to Seurat. But I haven't created this note yet, so we don't see it over in the sidebar. But this is fun though. I mean, when you do this yourself, it's fun because what you're connecting already is inherently meaningful to you and you're just finding a way to take it and externalize it so you can now visualize it and create leaps of insights from it. So this is what I'd do if I was starting over. I would start with like a thing note, but then I would try to find something else that resonates. So what's another thing out there in the world that when you hear about it or you read it, you go, oh, that sparks with me. That's interesting or important. I don't know, for me, I would say it's a quote. Every so often I hear this great quote and I wanna keep it, I wanna hold on to it, I wanna chew on it later. I don't know exactly when, but I wanna be reminded of it too. So in this case, I was recently enjoying Dune part two, the movie. I was also rereading the Dune books and the quote that you can tell the author just absolutely loves and because I think it's so powerful, fear is the mind killer. Listen, I and along with that, 
is a whole quote about fear. And I want to capture all of that. So I'm going to make a new note. It's another thing note, but it's, it's a quote this time. And boom, so I've just pasted in the quote. And I love this. Fear is the mind killer. Now we can see it over on the graph view and it's all by itself. So I'm thinking to myself, and just naturally, what does this connect to? Am I just going to create this cool quote and not connect it to anything? Or could I connect it to maybe the, the source material, the book, maybe the author? So how about we do both of those things? So just at the bottom of the quote, it doesn't matter how you do this, but just I'll put from Dune by the author Frank Herbert. Cool, period. And now we can see that this graph of ours is starting to make some really nice and interesting connections. So if I collapse the sidebar for now, we can see a little bit more of the graph view. And there is Frank Herbert, there's Dune, and there's Fear is the Mind Killer, which is the link between the two. I mean, how cool is that? So now we have this great note. Where else can we go though? We can go in so many different directions. Maybe you think of fear, and if if you're a Taylor Swift fan, if, if you're a Swifty, maybe you say, this reminds me of, you know where I'm going with this? If you're a Swifty, you know, the answer is the song Fearless. So now we can connect it to the song Fearless. Let's go ahead and create that as a new note. So now we have a song just dedicated to this note. So we can say a song by, and now we can start typing Taylor Swift here. And now we have another connection to Taylor Swift. So let's go ahead and make this graph view bigger just so we can kind of see what's happening. So we started with Fear is the Mind Killer. We'll see a couple connections between Frank Herbert and Dune. And now over here we have a connection to Fearless and Taylor Swift. This is fun. Anytime that your thinking system, your idea verse is no longer a joy to be in, mm, something's gone wrong, but there is a way to fix it. And it's just by making notes like this. This is what I would do if I would start over. So let's just do a couple more and then we'll round this whole thing up. All right, we're our own sponsors for today's video. And while this video is all about starting over, sometimes you want just a little bit more guidance. And that's where I created a free done for you system of linked notes called Ideaverse Lite. It's the most downloaded set of linked notes on the entire planet. The link, links are everything, is in the description below. Download it. Check it out, see what resonates, even if it's just learning about the tutorials around links and maps of content. But in the end, definitely make it your own. Now back to it. Okay, so from Fearless, we can go to a song by Taylor Swift, and you can see how this graph view is really coming into its own. Can you see the value of a personal internet of your own notes? That is what you get with an idea verse. No matter where I am, if I were to start over, it's all about connecting the dots. That's all it's about. In fact, oh, I love that. Let's go, let's go for it. Let's create a new note and just type. It's all about connecting the dots. I love it. Okay. And so now we have this note. And by the way, before, oh, I did a couple great things are happening. We're going to show them all. But number one, what haven't I done so far? I've created zero folders. I've added zero plugins and I, there's no metadata that I've been adding as well. All I'm doing is connecting the dots. If you're starting over, what's fun is what's going to get done. So how can you make this fun? How can you explore and wander? In this case, it's all about connecting the dots. And I wanna write about this, so maybe I'll start with this sentence. Because when you see things next to each other, sparks can fly. All right, so are you seeing the connection? Are you seeing the connection? So it's all about, this is your big test. We're doing this, we're doing this together. It's all about connecting the dots. On the graph view, it's not connected to anything. What would you connect it to? There's something that's screaming out that should be connected. I could write this better, but let's use our one of our favorite note-making prompts. This reminds me of the power of, here it is, the nearness principle. Is that what you were thinking? If so, 
you're feeling it already. Now we have where we started, the nearness principle is connected to, it's all about connecting the dots. How amazing. No matter if you're actually starting from scratch or if you just need a mental reset, it's all about recapturing the joy again. And the way to do that is to just start with five notes and see how you can connect them. Think about the notes we're creating too. These aren't meeting notes, these aren't project notes. These are things that are intrinsically, internally meaningful. And so when you create them, it's going to be fun and it's going to be joyful. So here, what are the five notes that, that I created? We started with the nearness principle, fear is the mind killer that took us to fearless, took us to Taylor Swift, and then we ended with, it's all about connecting the dots. So no matter if they're thing note, whatever type of thing note they are, whether it's a movie or a book or a quote, a person, make these notes, find the interesting connections. And if you're looking for that connecting prompt, we would call it a note making prompt. The best one that you can use, and you saw me use it multiple times, is this reminds me of. And then whatever you say next will likely link out to a different idea or a different thing. And you might as well make that an actual link yourself. This is all about the connections. When it's you making the connections, not AI, not other people on the big internet, when it's you making the connections, it means more. It rewires your brain in a way that empowers you to do your own thinking. And that's a pretty good feeling. Hey, and final note, it turns out this is going to be a mini series all about how to restart in Obsidian and how you might want to go about it. Because it's not just about capturing ideas from the outside in, but in the next video, we're going to look at how we can capture ideas from the inside out. I'll see you there.